Christmas music going. Got the Christmas lights on the tree. Titus is out there hooking up his trailer about to leave for work. Everybody else is getting ready. I'm hoping today to be able to decorate the outside a little bit more. It's gonna be really simple. So I have these bows. These are just from Walmart. They're kind of squished up where I've had them put up. But anyway, they have a little bit of a wire thing over here. We can straighten them back out. So I have these bows. I got some lighted garland from Walmart and there are little wreaths that are like $3 and something. It's just the cheap, plain wreath, nothing on it. Just the green, like it's not even really thick or anything, but I got some of this Santa snow, so we're gonna try to spray some of that on it, and we might, I have a hot glue gun, but I'm out of the, you know, little glue sticks. We have some super glue. Thought about putting some pine cones, like going out to the yard and getting some pine cones, because we have some out there, and glue onto the wreaths and then put the Santa snow. <laughs> it's gonna be loud out here because Titus has his truck going, but I wanna show y'all real quick. I just wanna put the garland from there to there, like droop it down a little bit and then hang a wreath in the middle on that part and then do the same thing there and the same thing there. And the garland, it's lighted, so it'll, you know, then we have a little cord we can bring, plug it up over here. I decided not to do the post, I guess. I don't know. I still kind of want to do the post, but I'm gonna see how it looks with just the garland stuff. I can't even remember if I told y'all, we ended up taking down this part of the walkway. It just didn't look good from the, like, out there, which doesn't really matter, but, you know, it looks like it wasn't even, and Titus is picky about his craftsmanship, you know, but if you were out there, it looks like it wasn't, you know, level or even, but it's because the yard goes downhill like that, and then this part is not as, you know, sloped as it is over there, so it didn't look, you know, he just didn't love the way it looked from up there. So we took that part off. We thought about replanting this um, flower over here, flower bush. We thought about taking it up and planting it over here because whenever they redid the porch, this one, it's like only a third of that bush left. It doesn't look the best. So we'll see. But yeah, at Walmart, I also looked for a tree. Y'all know we got that little $5 tree from the Dollar Tree, but I left it beside the fireplace. I'm just gonna go back to the Dollar Tree and see if they have any more of those because I thought about putting a tree either down there or something. Bye! Have a lovely day! I already told him bye. But my original plan when we had this part of the walkway was to have a tree at that one and a tree at that one. So yeah, now I don't know about the tree, but hopefully this rain, it's already just drizzling right now. So even if it stays like this here in a little bit when I get the kids started with their schoolwork, I might come on out here and see what I can do. <laughs> Titus was gonna do it for me before he left this morning, but it was really raining earlier, like really coming down. So I told him I'd try to do it. Get away, bug. Merry Christmas though. Okay, for breakfast this morning, we're just doing cereal, oatmeal, fruit, whatever you want. It's fine what you want breakfast. We might still have some more of those little sausage biscuits, I don't know, or pancakes. We do have some of those in the freezer. But yeah, I was gonna make that um, sausage cream cheese crescent roll thing. But whenever me and Titus got up earlier, he was like, I just want some Honey Nut Cheerios. So I was like, that's fine. It can be a cereal day. <laughs> The rain is kind of, I think that's just mostly falling off the trees. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can hang this up. Manly's still sleeping, so see if I can get this done before he wakes up. This is all the lighted garland, and then I have the three wreaths right here. I'm gonna spray a little bit of this on here. I changed my mind about the pine cones because with it being so wet and rainy out here, I know they're just gonna fall off probably, so. If I had hot glue, it would probably stay, but I don't think the little super glue things that we have will hold, so we're just gonna put some of the snow on here. see what this Santa snow is. Oh, it works. I don't know why we couldn't see it on the tree. I mean, I couldn't even see it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it'll stay with it raining out here. Is this waterproof? <laughs> Apply several light coats rather than one heavy coat. Uh, yes, I'm wearing one of Titus's coats because <laughs> it's one of his work coats and he doesn't care if it gets any Santa snow on it or anything like that. So there we go. It's pretty. It might be easier to just hang everything up and then Santa snow it. That's easier, right, y'all? Since we're not gonna do the pine cones or anything, yeah. I'm just gonna hang everything up, then we'll bring out the Santa snow. 
I should start over there, shouldn't I? Where it's gonna be plugged in. Yeah, let's go over here. Well, I've got news for you. I know you're waiting. Christmas is right here. Well, I've got news for you. I know you're waiting. Christmas is right here. Hold on. It's time for it to This swoop needs to try to come down just a little bit more here. And I think we need a little more snow on the garland. Yeah. This was the cheapest pre-lit garland that Walmart had. So in case you're thinking about buying it, the lights are not very bright. I mean, I'm sure at night we'll be able to see them, you know, better, of course. But we need to fix our lamp post. It's leaning again. <laughs> that thing is always leaning. I don't know why. I still need to cut all these extra strings off over here. Having struggles, you need some help. He was trying to wear the stockings as socks and they wouldn't stay on. They laid some eggs. All right, y'all, it's a little while later now. I think it's about one o'clock in the afternoon, maybe a little after one. Yeah, I see them. I brought Manly out while it wasn't raining for just a few minutes to see how we decorated the front and to let the chickens out. They'll put themselves back up if it starts raining hard again. When we go back in, I'm gonna clean up from lunch, then make a birthday cake. What do you think about it? It's all wet. It's all wet, yeah. Do you see the snow on there? Look at the snow. Have you got snow? Yeah, it's got some snow. Yeah. What about the bow? Do you like the bow? Yeah, it's all got snow. No, no snow on the bow. Are we ready to make a cake? Yeah. What kind of cake does Daddy want for his birthday? Um, blue and green and blue. Blue and green and blue? I think he wants a red one. He what? wants a red, yeah, a red velvet cake. We need one unsalted butter. Yeah. We need one salted. Let's see, I think this is salted here, yeah. All right, we have the unsalted butter and cream cheese. That's uh, for the frosting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one is about to go in here, but we need to soften it just a little bit. Now we're gonna put a cup and a half of sugar. Okay, we cream the butter and sugar together. You turn it on low. Yeah. Oh, it might help if I plug it up. There you go. All right, we're gonna put in two eggs. We're putting in a teaspoon of vanilla. Mm-hmm. One more, because this was just a half. I couldn't find my teaspoon. I left it in, ooh, I left it in something somewhere. And a tablespoon of white vinegar. Okay, can I turn it on you? Yep, turn it on up. All right. O-E-O-A-O. -O. I'm spelling the word on this butter. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah. It's for $8. $8? Okay, so we put in two teaspoons of baking powder. I'm gonna let this go ahead and be mixing in while I get the flour uh, ready. We need two cups and a fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour. All right, we're 
putting in two tablespoons of cocoa. Uh-huh, let me lift this up for you. Whoa, you want to do it with no. this gingerbread man? Yeah, it's strong. Yeah, woo! One That's more? Okay. There we go. Okay, now we need red food coloring. Normally, you want the liquid kind. I don't have any liquid, I have the gel. It works, I've done it before. We're gonna put in this whole tube of red gel food coloring. We're putting in a teaspoon of salt and three-fourths of a cup of milk. Okay, y'all, we're transferring to the KitchenAid. I was just gonna use the hand mixer for this part, but we can't find that other beater and it is flying everywhere with just the one. So I'm just gonna transfer this over here. Sissy's gonna go ahead and start mixing that and I'll get the powdered sugar ready. 